exclusive here on Action News. We've been following the trail. A traffic stop here in Jacksonville leads police to a major break in a drug trafficking and money laundering ring that spanned the country. Action News has obtained court documents that reveal how police uncovered several tons of marijuana that were brought through airports, including Jacksonville International Airport. Action News Samantha Manning joins us live from JIA right now. And Samantha, prosecutors believe the suspects had inside help. Phil, the U.S. Attorney's Office says the accused drug traffickers had the help of what they call airline insiders. It's believed the drugs were moved from California to Charlotte to here in Jacksonville. We know at least one of the co-conspirators had a boarding pass originating here in Jacksonville. The U.S. Attorney's Office says those airport insiders helped make sure the checked luggage containing the marijuana bypassed security at the airports. Records show there were large commercial crates holding hundreds of pounds of pot each. Sergio Ibarra is accused of running stash houses for that marijuana here in Jacksonville, one on Touchton Road and one on Playley Green Court. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the drug operation started as far back as 2004, but it's believed Ibarra only became involved in 2010. Prosecutors say several cooperating defendants named Ibarra and pointed them to the stash houses. Law enforcement also found text messages between Ibarra and others in the ring discussing the drug trafficking activity and flight information. Now, I am digging to find out more about those airline insiders and the stash houses that were found here in Jacksonville, and I'll have the very latest tonight at 5. Reporting live at JIA, Samantha Manning, CBS 47, Action News Jax. All right, thanks, Samantha.